the metal crowns offered by three-wheelers has always been attractive to manufacturers. For car type of vehicles, it opens up the possibility to circumvent some safety requirements and get classified as an autocycle. Motorbikes, on the other hand, can benefit from added stability sought after by many riders. These and many other reasons make three-wheelers a quite vibrant automotive segment. So in today's episodes, we'll cover all new vehicles as well as review the updates that the old-timers are receiving. Before we get to the video, subscribe to Automotive Territory and ring the notification bell to get alerts about the latest automotive news. Enjoy the ride! can -Am Spider RT Eavesdropping to the feedback of the former and the current Spider riders, can -Am are bringing an all-new generation of the trike, which improves long-distance capabilities as well as fine-tunes the quality of the ride. The Spider RT is offered in two variants, Standard and Limited. The two trims have comprehensive packages from the factory. Adjustable electric windshields, longer seats with more lumbar support, long touring floorboards, LED headlights and 7.8-inch white LCD color display with BRP Connect. The $4,000 premium for the Limited will get you a passenger backrest, link-compatible top case, heated seats and grips, plus some minor design tweaks to pump up the luxury levels. At the heart of the stat pole sits the same liquid-cooled Rorex 1330 Ace inline three-cylinder that makes 115 horses and 96 pound-feet, while the ride is enhanced with stability control, traction control, ABS and power steering. Archimoto Deliverator and Rapid Responder The manufacturer of the world's first fun utility vehicle originated in Eugene, Oregon in 2007, and they took the name Archimoto that translates as the future iDrive. Following the commercial success of the original electric tandem three-wheeler, in 2020, the startup is following up with two business-oriented models. The Deliverator, obviously designed for the local low-volume cargo transportation, and the Rapid Responder, which should rival motorcycles as the vehicle of choice for specialized emergency, security, and law enforcement services. These newcomers possess specifications of the original FUV and are good for 100 miles of range, 77 horsepower produced by two motors, 7.5 seconds 0 to 60 and 75 miles per hour top speed. The CV would use your phone as an infotainment system, both seats and grips are heated, and the company offers 3 years or 36,000 miles warranty. Yamaha Tri City 300 The Tri City range from Yamaha is getting a new flagship member that doubles the engine displacement, power, and torque of the previous models. Namely, the 292cc Blue Core single cylinder liquid cooled four stroke produces 27 horsepower and 21 pound feet. Paired with a 3.4 gallon fuel tank, it makes this Tri City ideal for long distance highway cruising. Among the high end components, we should highlight the auto style instrumentation, best in class 267mm front and rear disc brakes, ABS, automatic standing assist system, and ample storage space for two helmets. Customization options for the model include three color options – Nambus Grey, Tech Camo, and Gunmetal Grey. Plus, there are lots of stock accessories to choose from. Vanderhall Carmel GT Introduced in mid-2019, the Carmel is the newest and the most expensive model from Vanderhall that can truly be considered the company's flagship. The three-wheeler is offered in three modifications, including the fully-packed GT trim. Just as the rest of the lineup, it is equipped with a progressive Formula One-inspired suspension and is powered by a 1.5-liter four-cylinder turbo engine that makes 194 horses. It, however, gets paired with a different transmission option, namely a six-speed automatic with paddle shifters. The GT also comes standard with a removable top, which Vanderhall calls a cap shade. The Roadster rides on larger 19-inch wheels finished in glass black, has leather upholstery, and comes equipped with boost and shift gauges. For the 2020 model here, the Carmel also adds a limited-edition GTS version distinguished by the new mesquite brown exterior, matching leather interior, and Brembo brakes. Peugeot 
Polaris Slingshot Renowned for their all-terrain and side-by-side -side vehicles, Polaris is also active in the realm of three-wheeled automobiles. Their Slingshot model was introduced to the market five years ago, and in 2020 it gets fully redesigned. According to the company, 70% of the three-wheeler's components are all new, including the in-house developed 2-liter 4-cylinder engine that replaced the lackluster 2.4-liter GM EcoTech. In case of the SL model, the mill makes 178 horses and 120 pound-feet of torque, but in the R, its output is bumped to 203 ponies and 144 pound-feet. In addition to the usual 5-speed manual gearbox, it can now be paired with the new Magnetic Morelli sourced automatic manual. Both models tap out at 125 mph. The standard equipment for the 2020 slingshot includes new LED lighting, keyless start, 7-inch ride command infotainment, and a 100-watt Rockford Fastgate sound system. Which is the most exciting new three-wheeler of 2020 and 2021? Make sure to explore the entire lineup before making a decision. Like this episode's and let's keep rolling. Harley-Davidson Triglite Ultra and CVO Triglite When the Triglite was introduced in 2009, it was originally marketed as a motorcycle for older riders and ladies. Since then, however, it has also gained popularity among those people who simply enjoy added convenience of through wheels, and as the statistical data indicates, such riders usually cover longer distances on tours. This model is powered by the biggest non-CVO engine on a Harley, the 1868cc twin-cooled Milwaukee H114 that grants you 121 pound-feet of torque. Out of the box, you will get the full touring package, heavy-duty suspension, Brembo brakes, box GTS infotainment, a 50 pounds trunk, two-pack luggage carrier, and LED lights. Additionally, starting from 2020, the Custom Vehicles Operations Strike Light joined HD's family. It gets a bigger Milwaukee H117, custom exterior, premium heated seats, some beautiful paint schemes, new LED lights and wheels, and of course a price bump by a whopping $14,000. Canem Riker Based on the Spider platform, this is the bare bones entry level model among Canem three wheelers. It is offered with two engines the standard 600cc two cylinder producing 50 horsepower and the 900cc three cylinder that delivers 82 HP. In addition, the Riker is available in the off road friendly Rally Edition that, apart from the bigger engine, boasts an upgraded KYB suspension with preload adjustment, plus Echo, Sport and Rally driving modes. Regardless of the trim level, all Rikers come equipped with the two halogen headlamps, integrated LED lights on front fenders and adaptive foam waterproof seat. The standard is also the Canon Vehicle Stability Tech that combines ABS with traction and stability control. Finally, the Riker features industry's first two-less adjustability, allowing the rider to move the footbacks forward or backwards by almost 12 inches and change the handlebar's position by 4. Vanderhall Addison Squared We have been hearing about this all-electric roadster since early 2018, and two years later it has finally started production. Based on the company's Venice three-wheeler, the Addison Squared replaces the IC engine with a twin electric motor setup that sends power to the front wheels and is juiced by a 28.8 kWh battery. Each of the motors makes 71 horsepower, while their combined torque reaches 232 pound-feet, enabling 0-60 to acceleration of 4.4 seconds. The EV's quoted range is 200 miles, but charging with a 110 volt socket is painfully lengthy taking 18 hours. Therefore, you should opt for a $3,000 6kW charger, and it can be cut down to 4 hours. Just as the rest of the Vanderhall Speedsters, the Addison Squared seats two people and has a distinct retro look. It gets leather hand-stitched upholstery, heated seats, and a classic, understandable instrumentation that indicates battery charge, power output, and speed. New TQI This fast-growing Chinese manufacturer is famous predominantly for affordable electric scooters. But recently, the new mobility 
delved into a narrower three-wheeler segment. Advertised as a smart urban commuter, the brand's all-new TQI features a semi-enclosed body with integral roof and a huge windscreen, while also boasting a bunch of cutting-edge tech. For example, the vehicle gets standard 5G connectivity that allows the user to lock, unlock, or start it with a smartphone. In addition, the TQI possesses level 2 autonomous driving features, such as self-parking, pre-collision system, and the ACC adaptive cruise control. The dual front wheels benefit from the integrated self-balancing controller. It analyzes the incline and automatically adjusts the front wheel balance bar. The three-wheeler drives power from a 13 horsepower e-motor and a 7 kWh battery, which is good enough for up to 15 pH top speed and the maximum range of 124 miles. Microletta We know the Swiss startup Micromobility is the company that is reviving the iconic Assetta in the all-electric form. Their newest project, however, is a tiny three-wheeler that easily snatches the title of the cutest scooter of 2020. The Microletta has two tilting front wheels for added stability and shorter braking distance. Due to its lower power output of just 3 kW, it could be operated without a driver's license in many jurisdictions, though its top speed is rather brisk for a small city commuter 50 miles per hour. The 62 miles range is provided by two swappable lithium-ion batteries and could be replenished in just 4 hours. Micromobility plans to ship the scoot worldwide, taking pre-orders online, with a price tag equivalent to $5,400. T-Rex RR The story of Companion Motors and their T-Rex began in 1990, and now they're releasing the most powerful model yet. The RR is motivated by a 1441cc inline four-cylinder borrowed from a Kawasaki Ninja ZX-14R that makes 208 horsepower and 116.5 pound-feet of torque. The new T-Rex incorporates composite materials and now weighs just 998 pounds. The unique driving position, three precise traction control modes, and five-way adjustable sport suspension allow the car to give constant road feedback and maximize handling under different conditions. How do you like them through wheelers? Would you say that a car lacking a wheel or a motorcycle with an extra one are superior to the original shapes and forms? Share your thoughts in the comment section and mention the most interesting models. Subscribe to Automotive Territory to get notified about the new episodes like, share, and watch suggested videos. As always, may the torque be with you!